Hi, uh, my name is Olga Kokshagina. I'm an associate professor at EDEC Business School and I'm also a member of the French Digital Council. I think it's a bunch of different tasks that AI will uh, help uh, humans to, to perform in the future. When it comes to, to foresight, um, it's all about scanning, so AI I think will help us to, to basically do scanning in a much better way, to identify trends, to actually um, amplify whatever humans are doing by having more access to data and a better capacity to analyze that data in the first place. There are plenty of things that are quite exciting about AI and machine learning. Um, just to give uh, an example, maybe uh, what I like is how AI can be uh, applied to create desirable futures uh, in a way. Um, one thing would be uh, a collaboration between humans and AI. So how in general our work can be amplified by a collaboration with different AI tools. Uh, for example, in the art industry, we see lots of artists uh, actually starting to, to work on canvases, but then being um, amplified by AI and collaborating with AI in, in different settings. So I'm quite excited about that. As an example, we can uh, talk about uh, trustworthy AI. So how do we create trust in the AI-enabled foresight? I think it's one of the uh, things to, to look at. And it depends on data as well. So how do we create more transparency about what data is used to actually create foresight so people can track back and make sure that, okay, if I'm using AI foresight, I'm capable to verify and uh, go forward with that or being able to, to change the, the results to better inform the decision-making processes. And then the other challenge might be uh, in relation to uh, the costs uh, for the infrastructure. So implementing AI-enabled foresight might be quite expensive for uh, different companies. So how do we create resources that are distributed so different people can leverage on different tools at the same time? I think we uh, live in a world uh, that is transitioning in many different areas um, and for that organizations need to develop a, a competency to uh, anticipate, to change uh, in a continuous way. I like the concept of anti-fragility, for example. How do we all become anti-fragile in a certain way and how do we build uh, systems uh, around that? So I would say that we need AI to actually help us uh, in that aspect and companies uh, might actually use different techniques like trend analysis, mapping, scanning, backcasting, forecasting to be able to, to think and anticipate about what will be the potential scenarios for the future and how we can design processes around them. I think uh, it's a, the collaboration between uh, humans and AI that will drive uh, the industry going forward. And I think we need to think about, okay, uh, if we're thinking about the futures long term, short term, how do we make sure that um, AI enabled processes uh, and for, uh, forecasting tools are better understood by humans and how we can uh, design efficient ways uh, to implement those in order to avoid the rejections uh, from the board and uh, company members in different uh, cases. So yeah, I'm quite excited about that. And I do think that AI will help us uh, to have a better quality forecasting uh, and foresight in the future.